this proves uh, nobody really gets views because, I mean, how do you steal views from someone who is not even cracking 300 views um, on their most recent vids? Uh, you don't. So this is just delusions of grandeur like a lot of other people we deal with. Columbus, still the ocean blue. What's good? Shine. We always promote recovery over here, so anyone struggling with addiction who needs resources, get get at me in the comments. Guys, did you hear this guy say 14, or 1892 instead of 1492? One big difference between him and Upchurch. First of all, the views, as you've seen at the beginning, plus Ryan Upchurch always pushes himself to further his education and to be the best he can be. He believes in himself as a legend as well. Let's get into hit the comparison that he forgot about him and Elvis that I've seen that he didn't mention in his last video. Hit albums, rock, country, and rap. Um, all three genres, hit albums. Multiple, I, I could probably say multiple even. Um, anyways, this this just proves that in my, you know, my opinion, the guys came from a single wide trailer to being a multi-millionaire. It's just insane that, that people are still hating on this guy. This is proof the American dream is alive and well. Ryan Upchurch recently dropped a video talking about the comparisons of him and Elvis. And I agree very much. I believe he's going to go down as a legend, maybe even bigger than Elvis. I, I don't know. But as big, I, I feel he's started a whole new movement in music that really, you know, it had some traction, but he, he gave it real life. Um, when he came on the scene. So, this video is to talk about if Ryan Upchurch is today's Elvis, is Adam Calhoun his Johnny Cash? Because this is one thing I didn't hear Ryan Upchurch say when he was talking about the comparisons. Um, he showed the logos, you know, his logo was a rooster, uh, uh, Elvis's record label's logo was a rooster. He showed a bunch of different comparisons. Well, Elvis's record label had brought Johnny Cash up and when Johnny Cash was pretty much about to give up on music he was a door as or salesman at that point but his record label gave him a chance Elvis's did so is Adam Calhoun Ryan Upchurch's Johnny Cash that's one thing uh, you know for those of you who have been following Upchurch a while and Adam Calhoun a while you know, people know Adam Rapp growing up, you know, in the inner cities of Chicago, in, you know, in Chicago, um, in the inner city, doing battle raps and different things. Gave up on it for a long time. He got locked up, went to prison, came out, got a union job, and ended up going viral with some comedy videos. Him and Ryan Upchurch did some collaborations on comedy videos, and Ryan kind of inspired him to give rapping another try and, and encourage him to. And thank God he did, because look at the talent that Adam Calhoun has. Um, and that's one comparison, you know, without Ryan Upchurch, we would not know the talent um, of Adam Calhoun, his rap rapping ability, you know, and maybe even Mises for that sake. Um, for those of you who don't follow Mises, go check him out. He's a beast of a rapper, man, a uh, man of God, and just, man, he could spit. Um, you know, I think these a lot of these white guys who are spitting, um, they get thrown in the country rap genre, don't get enough credit for their, their actually, the bars they have. Um, and I don't know if that's because of political views, um, certain things they're outspoken about, like their faith, whatever that may be. But I, I think these guys should get a lot more credit in the hip-hop scene. But... Yeah, um, you know, that's one comparison I, I wish Upchurch would have realized is, you know, I know he, I know Adam Calhoun ain't on his label or nothing like that, but I, I do believe, you know, he did inspire him. Adam even had said it himself recently in a story about how he met Ryan. So, yeah, man, um, the difference between Ryan and his haters is, man, Ryan don't, he encourages people to, to do music. He encourages people, and he believes in himself as a legend. And this is one thing I want. I wanted to really. I hope people stuck around for the end of this video because, look, man, if you believe in yourself that you could do anything, you can do anything, um, if you follow through with that belief, you know. 
and the actions that it take to, to achieve that belief. But most people lose that this day and age somehow. They think things are not obtainable for some reason, shape, thing, but it is, man. If you, you know, if you truly believe in yourself and you have a dream, if you truly believe that dream is achievable, it will be achievable. It's just a matter of you never giving up, and that's that's back to the belief. You have to have enough belief to never give up on that dream. So, as always, guys, we're going to keep grinding and shining over here. One of my dreams is we're going to hit 100K. We're going to get that plaque back there just uh, as an achievement, but we're also going to hit a million eventually on this channel. Um, you know, whether you believe it or not, I believe it, and we're going to do it. So, appreciate all the ones who stuck around since the beginning. Appreciate all the new ones just as much. We're going to keep grinding and shining, y'all. Stay up, stay sober, pay your bills, go to work. Don't be like this guy living in his mama's house.